Hey, what's up guys? VFX Bro here. Now, before you check out this tutorial, go ahead and watch the music video that I shot here a couple weeks ago to kind of get a gist for the effect we're going to be doing. VFX Bro here. Very excited for this new tutorial we've got today. A couple weeks ago, I got the chance to work on a music video with Tiffany Albert and Luke Connor doing a music video for their cover of Gym Class Heroes and Neon Hitch's Back Home music video. So what we did for that was a few different effects we're going to be running over today. We obviously changed the background from the green screen that we had originally shot and we also added in this um, type of light writing effect that most of you noticed and we're just going to quickly run over the process of which we got to get that effect. Now these features were ones in After Effects that I had not used before so it was a new experience for myself as well. So let's go and get started with it. We have here our VFX shot here at 17 seconds and if we scroll through this here, we can see this part of the clip where she brings up her finger and we're going to add some outlining to her finger there. So we can go to our first clip here and we're going to hit Alt right bracket just to clip the shot to that first frame there. And then we're going to go over to our last frame and stop it right about there and then hit alt right bracket and then we're going to just trim this here so that our composition length is equal to that of the shot we need to add the VFX to. So there we go we've got that now what we're going to do is simply double click on the shot here and that brings us into our layer tab and then we're going to just add a pen stroke using the brush tool and we're going to eyeball it out to be about we want it around 27 here so we can see that the, the width here of this dot here is about what we would want. And then we're also going to make our paint tool to be set to white. Now a tool that I used for this effect was the Intuos 4 Wacom tablet. If you don't know what that is, go and just Google it. But basically it's this tablet that allows me to draw on the screen using this pen. And the benefit to that is that I get to change the pressure sensi sensitivity. So if we can see here, I can start off the line kind of skinny and then make it get thick. and uh, that's often useful for things like this where I want it to look as though I actually drew it on with a real pen. So I'm going to go ahead and just exit that thing. And we're going to start off here. We're basically just drawing a cartoon around her hand here. So we're going to start it off pretty simple here. We've got this line here. Then I'm going to go to the next frame. Make sure that your settings are set so that your brush, the length of your brush stroke is only set to one frame. And we can adjust the length of our brush stroke by going to Window, Workspace, paint. And we're going to go over here and click on duration. And we can see that we can make it single frame. So we want that set to single frame here. And now if we go back into our settings here, we're actually going to go workspace. We're going to just bring it back to our standard here, just because I prefer to work in the standard. And just bring this back up here. And we're going to go over and head to our first frame here. So now if I were to write this on here and go to the next frame you'd see that that is now gone. So that's exactly what we want. We want our brush strokes to only be lasting for one frame at a time. So now we can go ahead and move on to our next frame here. We're just going to draw this around, continue it, next frame, next frame, next frame. It's kind of a tedious process. Sometimes we can leave it and just add this in here. We're going to switch over to our hand tool and make sure that we're seeing the entire frame, which we are. Good. And then we're going to switch back to our brush tool. And here I'm actually going to continue this here. But next, after this, I'm going to switch over to just outlining this part. And then this part. And then I'm going to go back to this. Now I'm going to actually choose to outline this right here. Oh, messed up there. Just going to hit the Control Z button. We've had the effect. Now we can kind of scrub through it here and see that it's looking pretty cool. And now what we're going to do is go Layer. We're going to go back into our composition actually here. We can go to the first frame and go Layer, New, Solid. We're going to make this a black solid here. Hit OK. Our footage layer selected here. We're going to go to our effects control, select the paint, hit control C, click on the black, 
and then hit control V. So now we've got that painted on there and we can scrub through this and uh, we don't see anything yet. So what, mean, what that means is we actually need to drag this because our paint effect has not been added yet. So we've got it layered around the timeline here and it starts right there, which is great. If we were to take this off, we would see that it matches up with our other um, footage layer. So that's perfect. Let's we'll click on our footage layer and actually remove the paint here. And now with this selected, we're going to go to our toggle switch, go to a mode. We're going to make it an add mode blend. Then we're going to go over here to our effects and we're going to add a fast blur. So let's go fast, blur, and we're going to put it at about a four. That's just going to blur out, that out a bit. And we can see this is great because if we zoom in here, we can see that around the edges, it adds this glowing effect, which is exactly what we want. And what we can actually do is go to our curves effect select. And drag that on there. And we can actually change the highlight color. So if we wanted to make this a little bit more red, we could boost up the red, bring it down, make it a little bit green. I like to boost up the red just a tad bit there. And let's go ahead and render through this. And there we have it. The light writing effect has been added to our footage. If you have any questions, comments, feel free to leave them below. This has been VFX Pro with a tutorial on the Luke Connard and Tiffany Albert music video.